So in engineering economics, uh, today we will move on to the uh, third unit, cash flow. So under third unit, methods of uh, comparison of alternatives, we will see about present worth method. And in that we will see revenue dominated cash flow diagram. Okay, so the textbook which I'm going to use now is Paneer Silvam R Engineering Economics. Okay, so this is the textbook which is prescribed for engineering economics as per the syllabus. So first uh, before going to the revenue dominator cash flow diagram. So we will understand about the present worth method. So the present worth method is a state of comparison of uh, the cash flow of each alternatives will be reduced to time zero by assuming an interest rate of I. So depending upon the type of decision, the best alternative will be selected. So how this best alternative will be selected is the as usual, that is by comparing the present worth amount to the alternatives. So if, suppose if uh, the present uh, worth amount is say 5,000, then we have to compare with the best alternatives or else we have to compare with the alternatives and find the best alternative which we can use of, okay? So in case the, uh, decision is to be selected with the alternative of uh, minimum cost, then the alternative with the least present worth amount will be selected, okay? So at the same time, if the decision is to select the alternative with the maximum profit, so if you need the maximum profit as an alternative, then the alternative uh, with the maximum present worth will be selected, right? Okay. So now let's move on to the uh, revenue dominator cash flow diagram. So in a revenue dominated cash flow diagram, so revenue uh, dominated or you can call it as a profit dominated, okay? So both are same. So the revenue dominated cash flow diagram, the profit revenue salvage value that is so called that all incoming or else the all inflow to the organization will be assigned as positive okay so will be assigned as positive and uh, the cost the outflow cost will be assigned as negative that is the expenditure will be negative. And all of the revenue salvages and all other uh, you know, inflow towards the organization will be considered as positive. So, suppose if P represents an initial investment, then RJ, the net revenue, or at the end of uh, N, N tier, or else here they have given as a J tier, okay? So uh, the interest rate is I and compounded annually. Okay, so uh, here we are saying it is as a compounded annually, the interest rate, okay? And this salvage value is taken as yes. As here, the salvage value they're taking, taken as nth value and whereas uh, nth year and whereas the net revenue is considered at the uh, at the end of uh, J theory, okay? So uh, with this, uh, they are inducing the formula. So uh, to find the present uh, worth of this, So uh, the amount, the formula, the interest formula is uh, given here. And also that in this formula, the expenditure is uh, assigned as a negative sign and revenue are assigned as a positive sign. Okay, so suppose if we have uh, some more alternatives uh, 
or anything like that then that should be compared with the alternatives only okay and then the corresponding present worth amount will be computed and uh, compared accordingly so the alternative with the maximum present worth amount should be selected at the best alternative okay so we are supposed to select the maximum present worth amount as a best alternative right okay so uh, we will move on to a problem as an example okay the alpha industry is planning to um, expand its production operation it has identified three different uh, uh, technologies for meeting the goal the initial outlay and annual revenues with respect to each of the technologies are summarized um, in the tabulation okay and suggest the best uh, technology which is to be implemented based on the present worth method of comparison assuming 20 percent interest rate compounded annually so here they have given uh, three various uh, technologies and the initial outlay annual revenue and life in terms of years okay so um, here the initial outlay for the technology one two and three is given as 12 lakhs 20 lakhs 18 lakhs okay so this uh, initial outlay is p capital p and annual revenue for uh, technology one two three is given as four lakhs six lakhs uh, five lakhs and this is a that is the annual revenue so life of the technology is your n and uh, in the question they have also given that uh, assuming 20 percentage interest rate compounded annually so which means that interest rate is i as 20 percent compounded annually so every annual year they are giving 20 percentage okay so uh, with this we have to uh, use the formula that is the present worth expression for this technology will be initial outlay plus annual revenue into that is uh, initial outlay by annual revenue with the, along with the interest rate of 20 percentage and the life of uh, this particular technology as 10 years okay so by adopting this you will get the value so here the initial outlay is taken as negative because initial outlay is that you are spending something to get some profit so that is being spent so you are having minus okay And likewise, you have to find for technology 2 and then the technology 3. So, here for the technology 1, we are having 4,77,000. And for technology 2, we have 5,15,500 rupees. And for technology 3, we have 2,96,000. 250 so here if you say then the highest value is obtained by the second one the technology two with five lakhs fifteen thousand and five hundred so we have to suggest for implementing this 
second technology to expand the production right so this one i have already mentioned you clearly that uh, with the decision to select the alternatives suppose with the minimum cost then the alternate alternative with the least present worth will be selected but if the decision is to be selected with the maximum profit then alternative with the maximum profit worth will be selected so that is the reason that we are selecting with the maximum present worth is selected it's just because the maximum profit to be obtained okay so next one we have So, try to solve this. A project involves an outlay of 30 lakhs with the following transaction for the next five years. The salvage value at the end of life of the project after five years is rupees 2 lakhs. Draw a cash flow diagram of the project and find its present worth by assuming i is equal to 15% compounded annually. So here they have given you end of uh, year maintenance and operating expenses and revenue. Okay, so keep in mind that here they have given uh, the salvage value also. Okay, so I have already mentioned uh, that uh, the salvage value and uh, other uh, expenditures, how that has to be considered, right? So go through the, uh, the concept of the same, that uh, how we have to consider the uh, salvage value, revenue, profit, right? How so that will be considered as an inflow of to the organization, right? So accordingly, you have to choose whether that will be positive or else negative sign, okay? So, it's given, okay. So next, investment proposal A and B have the net cash flow as follows proposal rupees, I mean A and B uh, and end of year 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the 0, they're having minus 10,000, 3,000, 3,000, 7,000, 6,000 and for B minus 10,000, 6,000, 6,000, 3,000 and 3,000. So compare the present to worth of A with a B at the 18 percentage, which proposal should be selected. So now, which proposal should be selected? So the present worth period for A is given, A and uh, with that of B is given as 18 percentage, right? So, so I is an 18 percentage. So we are having, so that is a negative, so downward, okay? And uh, positive will be in upward, right? So 3,000, 3,000, 7,000, 6,000 with the interest of 18 and with a tenure of four years, right? So now you can use that is uh, minus 10,000 plus 3,000 with P by F 18 percentage. 1 that is the first one a year and then 3000 given then p by f 18 percentage and the second year and uh, 7 plus uh, 7000 p by f 18 percentage 3 year plus 6000 pf 
18 percentage and four year and you can find the amount of the present worth and similarly you have to find for b and get the value right so here that it is clearly seen that a we are having 2052 rupees 10 paise and two and b is 2767 rupees 40 paise so it is clearly shown that the b is higher so we have to choose b right so that will be your because the profit will be higher right so definitely we will go for opting b okay a granite company is uh, planning to buy a fully automated granite cutting machine if it is purchased under down payment the cost of the machine is 16 lakhs if it is purchased under installment basis then the company has to pay 25 percentage of the cost at the time of purchase and a remaining amount in uh, 10 annual equal installment of fees um, 2 lakhs each such is the best alternative for the company using the present worth uh, base at uh, i is equal to 18 percentage compounded annually so here they have given you the down payment as a 16 lakhs okay so down payment is the first in which you are going to use uh, the amount and get the uh, product right so the, the down payment here we are having 16 lakhs so uh, if it is a 10 annual installment that is we can pay rupees 4 lakhs and then 10 annual installment that is 2 lakhs each okay this is your so we have to choose which one to do okay whether you're going to pay as a whole and get the thing or else you're going to pay some amount and then put some installment okay the similar as that of putting a loan for a vehicle or some emi basis right okay I mean, uh, by uh, paying as a whole, I mean, as a partially and then to put some other amount as an installment, right? Okay. So now coming to the point. So here to find the um, present with the, okay. So they have given you, Okay, so if the purchase on the installment basis, then the company has to be 25 percentage of the cost at the time of purchase, uh, purchasing and, and then uh, 10 uh, percent, right? So now we are having uh, the second alternative, considering the second alternative. So that is that first you have to pay 4,000. So 4,000 is you are spending 4, 000, uh, 4 lakhs, sorry, 4 lakhs rupees. So that is on the down way, down arrow, right? And then 10 installments you are going to pay 2 lakhs each right so that's why that 1 2 3 4 till 10 we are high, you are going to spend 2 lakhs each with the interest rate of 18 percentage okay so now uh, we have we can uh, have the present worth of uh, it as uh, 4 lakhs plus uh, 2 lakhs and p by a 18 percentage and 10 okay so then you will have the amount okay so the present worth of the option is 12,98,820 so which will be less than that of the the first option so uh, you can use it for the second uh, option can go for the second option okay so now i'm i'm going to have uh, give you a, a task with this question now you have to report me in uh, your classwork note and tell me why we are considering it as positive 
and y not negative. Okay, because here you have taken negative and then positive. Now you have to tell me the reason why this is being positive and not uh, negative. Right? So you have to justify and write, write it down along with this, uh, these two problems, okay? So this will be your uh, task. And remaining uh, 4.6, uh, you can consider it as your, again, uh, your assessment. Fine. So that's all some uh, basic concept I'm, uh, I have covered and uh, some tutorials for uh, the present worth method of comparison for revenue dominated cash flow diagram. So next uh, lecture, we will see about a future worth method. Under that, we will see about a revenue dominated cash flow diagram and a cost dominated cash flow diagram, okay? So by the meantime, in the tomorrow class, you can Solve the worked examples, all worked examples. And along with that, you have to do this question one. And question number eight, that will be work long. Thank you.